We're talking about the Premier Pro CC18 exam, and we're looking at the second subdomain called Project Setup and Interface. We're on subdomain 2.2, Navigate, Organize, and Customize the Application Workspace. Part A of this subdomain says that we should be able to identify and manipulate elements of the Premiere Pro interface. The main thing that you should be aware of for this is the different buttons and features in Premiere Pro. For example, I currently have the selection tool selected, but if I said, what is this right here? You would need to know that that's the razor tool and be able to identify not only the name of it, but what it does on the exam. This would be type. This one down here would be lift. We have a lot of features in here that might not be readily available within the default program monitor. But it's more than just in the immediate screen setup. If I open up the media window. Would you be able to identify the different parts of this screen as well? So the main thing is being able to identify the different parts of Premiere Pro and not only identify them, but what do they do? Part B says that we should be able to organize and customize the workspace. Let me switch my workspace to editing. As I'm working through my project, I need to access the essential graphics panel, but I don't see it here. I should be able to go to the windows tab, go to essential graphics to bring that in. Maybe I don't want it all the way over here to the right. I can click and drag this panel and add it up here. So now it's part of this panel. I can bring this in because it's taking up too much space. I want to see more of the program monitor. Maybe I like the editing workspace more now that I've made some of these changes. Something that I can do is go back to the window tab, go to workspaces, and I can click on save changes to this workspace, or I can create a brand new workspace. So if I click Save as, I get the option of naming this new workspace. But maybe I've made all these changes and I don't like what I've seen. Something that I can do is click reset to saved layout. And Premiere Pro has now brought me back to my original saved editing workspace. And then part C of this subdomain says that we should be able to configure application preferences. To do that, I'm going to click edit. Preferences, and then I'm just going to start on general. I'll be honest with you, this window has a lot of features that you can manipulate, such as autosave. How often do you want Premiere Pro to autosave your project? What's the maximum that you can do? One that I do often for Premiere Pro is the media catch so that I can delete unused stuff. I can go to my memory. In this window, I can change how much RAM is allocated for Adobe versus other applications. I would encourage you to dig through these sections just so that you're familiar with some of the things that you can change.